Hello, this is David Biocchi from Italy and this is my weekly intermarket analysis. Let's start as usual with the euro dollar. It, it is since time in a large uh, trading range up here and recently we have seen that we have a very strong support at 1.07 and the market is moving up above a level of 1.09, that it's a key level. Will we see 1.107, that is more or less the level up here? Well. Uh, it's potentially doable, but uh, just before doing that, I think it's better to wait for the uh, Federal Reserve that is uh, uh, yet to come in 10 days. And then in the middle, we have also the triple, which is next Friday. So let's see what is going to happen here. So uh, very interesting thing that we can see also on commodities, uh, where the crude oil prices, uh, since some sessions some more than one month is remaining in between the level of around 76 dollars years to 80 so the market is moving up and down in this level and it will probably continue we have two potential possibilities the first one is to exit below here so uh, in this case uh, this is not valid valid otherwise there's also a possibility due to this uh, uh, sequence of increasing minimum to go for a triangle here that can be broken if the market will go above the price of 80 that we'll see as next target 83 84 up there uh, let's switch to the gold that recently did the new all-time high let's say um, um, going up very strong as as uh, uh, it happened when there was a breakout of a level of 2100 that worked as a strong resistance um, let's say four four times before this resistance worked but right now we have seen also a maximum on friday that was the new all-time high a little bit above 2200 so this is very interesting and a potential pullback that we will see around the price of 2100 will work as a trigger for maybe the next buy so very interesting chart uh, let's switch to the uh, long-term bonds where we have seen that there was a reaction recently it happened on a very strong level the area around 92 on tlt uh, the next one will be around 100 so potentially the market can remain in this area but can even go up there and then in that case we have at around 109 and in the middle here two resistances that will work in the case so very interesting chart even here let's see what is going to happen and let's switch to the stock indices and let's start with the European one. Uh, this is the Euro stock 50 where we clearly can see uh, a very strong up movement, then a flag and then again another very strong movement. So it's probably due to the fact that we have seen, but, uh, let's say 5,000 as a price and due to the fact that it seems uh, that the distance from here to here and from here to here are very similar we can expect the market to need a flag uh, to need a flag and to remain around that level to have a rest to let people uh, become more able um, uh, let's say to be familiar with new prices that are up there so uh, this is very similar to what is happening on the DAX uh, quite the same situation here uh, and the market unable to reach the level of 18,000. Well, this is probably because we had the index on the all-time high and we have on the other side the German economy that is into a recession. So it sounds really strange to investors about that. What is, uh, let's say, yet to come in Europe is probably already here in US. I mean, this is uh, the Nasdaq and potentially, especially after the session of Friday, when we have seen some stocks like Nvidia, like Qualcomm, like uh, Broadcom, like uh, really uh, Eli Lilly, they were quite sold. So the, uh, some people are taking profit from that stocks. Well, that means that probably um, that means that probably what we are right now doing is that wow, it's very interesting. We are probably in a flag. Will the market go up here with a new all-time high? Well, the flag will be finished. But in the meantime, if the market will remain here, maybe we have some deep with some opportunities. And the very same situation is happening on the 
on the, um, let's say, uh, S&P 500, where the levels are very clear. We have 5,040 uh, below here and 5,160 uh, more or less up there. So let's say that the flag is probably already here. Let's see what is going to happen. And especially if the market is going to rotate to uh, other sectors like uh, like um, uh, like uh, utilities uh, or similar, let's say, that uh, are now under the focus of the market. So this is all for this week. Thank you very much for being here. This is David Biocchi from Italy. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.